Good evening, morning or afternoon, depending on when you're watching this video. Today I'm going to be taking a look at setting up my own Plex media server. Let's jump in. So up a uh, Plex media server, you need a PC that you can use as a server. Uh, it'll install on Windows, Mac, Linux, FreeBSD and NAS drives from these. Um, manufacturers and on docker as well I'm not actually sure what docker is please do enlighten me in the comments if you do uh, so the, the, we're going to install it on windows today a um, couple of prerequisites you do need to be at least 13 years old to uh, to install plex i'm um, not sure why but you do so just click the link to download and it's a 76 megabyte download so after a few seconds, if you've got a, an OK internet connection, you should be uh, ready to install it. So if you open up the executable from your downloads, you've got uh, an options page to in, on the installation. You can change the drive that you install it on. I'm, I'm just going to change it to my D drive because that's where I tend to keep all my programs. And then you just click install. OK, so when you first start Plex, it may, it may start minimised on the taskbar like I'm just pointing at now. If not, then um, that's okay uh, because you can just open it from your program files. Just search for Plex and open Plex Media Server. Uh, it will ask you if you want to add some libraries. So I'm going to just talk you through how you quickly do that. So if I click Add Library here, it's really important that you choose the correct um, media type for your library and also to split your music, photos, movies, TV shows in separate folders otherwise you will baffle the um, Plex server. I'm just going to show you how to add a movie library so I'm going to click next after selecting movie click browse for media folder so I'm going to I'm going to add a, a folder that I've got which is called Plex movies I'm just going to add that and add library and depending on how many files are in there, it might take a while to uh, <laughs> to refresh this. But now, ultimately, your server's set up. So as long as you leave your PC on and connected to the internet or your network, then then it's fine. It's it's running. You'll see there's a lot of um, a lot of options and things you can set. If you just want to watch your films and and listen to your music, then don't bother. Um, just leave it as it is. Uh, even even the basic stuff that's set up like the scheduled tasks seems to work for most people uh, so that does things like optimizing your, your media library and the database and um, just cleaning things up while you wouldn't be using it so I'll jump on to, uh, to my tablet and I'll show you it in action okay so what I've done I've, um, I've just gone into the Android App Store and I have installed the Plex app uh, when you sign into the Plex app, it will connect you directly to your server. That's even if you're not on the same network. So it's it's really, really simple to use. So as you can see, I have one film um, that's in my library that I've added. So if I just press on that, and you get a bit of a, a, bit of a spiel about that, it'll tell you the resolution, the codec that's used and the sound codec as well give you all sorts of things like Rotten Tomato scores and that, that sort of thing and if you hit play okay so what comes up is something that tells you you either need to get the Plex Pass or you can purchase a one-time activation otherwise you can only watch a minute of your videos and your photos are watermarked so I'm just going to click activate now and at the moment it's £3.30 to activate uh, the unlimited use of the server on your devices. So I'll do that now off camera. And then when you've done that, your media will stream. So I've got no volume on here because I do not want a copyright strike. But that's it. We've, we've set up a Plex media server and I can now stream my home movies wherever I like. So that's literally all there is to set up a Plex server. So all you need to do now, now it's set up, is put all your media on there and you're good to go. If you don't have any questions about the setup process then feel free to add comments below. I do try and help the community out. 
Uh, but the Plex forums are very, very good. Um, I've I've had some issues in the past that I've been able to get resolved using the uh, the forums, asking for a bit of help. But I'm I'm happy to try and help you in the comments below if if you need to. Uh, if you've not yet subscribed to my channel, then please do so below and also hit the bell notification. Otherwise, you won't know when I've uploaded. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Thank you.